Hi everyone, my name is Bobur. I am a developer advocate. Nowadays, APIs uh, connect multiple systems, internal services, and third party applications easily and securely. API consumers are probably the most important stakeholders for API providers because they interact with the most with the APIs and the developer portal. This uh, video explains how to manage your single or multiple API consumers with a, an open source API management solution such as Apache API 6. API consumers use an API without integrating it into the app, app developed for it. In other words, API consumers are the users of your APIs. This means, for example, a marketing department uses a Facebook API to analyze the social media responses to the specific actions. It does with this individual or irregular requests to the API provider as needed. API management solution should know who is a consumer of the API and is to configure different rules for different consumers. In Apache API 6, uh, there is a consumer object is the most common way for uh, API consumers to access APIs published through the API gateway. Uh, consumer concept is extremely useful when you have different consumers requesting the same API and you need to execute various plugins and upstream configurations based on your consumer. By publishing APIs through the Apache API 6 API Gateway, you can easily secure API access using the consumer keys, or sometimes it can be referred to as a subscription keys, right? And developers who need to consume the published APIs must include the valid uh, subscription key, in, let's say in HTTP requests when calling those uh, APIs. Without a valid subscription key, the calls are rejected immediately by the API Gateway or not forwarded to the backend services. Consumers can be associated with the various scopes, let's say pair plugin, all APIs, or for an individual API. There are many use cases for consumer objects in the API gateway that you get with a combination of its uh, built-in plugins. Let's say you can enable different authentication methods for different consumers. You can restrict the access for API resources for the specific consumers, or you can route the request to the corresponding backend service based on the consumer. Or you can even define rate limiting on the number of data clients can consume. Finally, but the, the analyze, you can also analyze the data usage for individual consumer and the subset of consumers. Let's look at some examples of configuring the rate limiting policy for a single consumer or for a group of consumers with the help of key authentication plugins. It acts as our API key for our subscriptions and we will use limit count plugins. For the demo case, we can leverage sample project built on ESP.NET Core Web API. In reality, it can be any project that's written in any programming language by using any framework, let's say Java for Spring Boot application. But in our demo, it has only a single get endpoint and that redrives all the product lists. You can find the, some instructions on how to run this multi container API 6 project. And uh, you can also it's use a Docker to run it. And up to now, I can assume that the sample project is up and running. In my case, I'm using Windows operating system and on my machine, Docker desktop is uh, installed. As you can see, some main components uh, are here, uh, like a product API and the API 6 project itself. Also, I have this uh, source code, it's open in my VS code. As you can see, uh, some of the uh, folders, API 6 folders, uh, like uh, Grafana, Prometheus, we are not going to cover them today, but you can find more information. Uh, this example is taken from API 6 Docker uh, repo on GitHub, uh, but I have added uh, the product API uh, to customize it. You can see the product API is up and running on ports uh, uh, 5555. Five, five, five. And also, uh, all the uh, command line uh, examples uh, that we are going to use the color commands is uh, uh, given here. Some examples you can find here. To use a consumer object along with other two plugins, we need to follow uh, easy steps. Uh, we need to create first uh, the consumer and specify authentication plugin uh, with key, key holes and limit count for the consumer and the next in the next step we need to create the, the route uh, that and then set the routing rules if necessary and then uh, the final set enable key plugin configuration uh, for the created route 
Uh, as a, this above uh, steps can be achieved also by running in two uh, color commands, as you can see, against uh, API 6 admin API. First, uh, command uh, creates a new consumer with the API key based authentication enabled where API consumer can only make two requests against the product API uh, within the 60 seconds. Let's copy paste this uh, command to the command line. The face on the right side, as you can see, uh, it creates uh, the consumer with the two plugins enabled. If I uh, Past this command and run API 6 API, admin API response uh, successful respond and the next step uh, I need to create my uh, road by hitting the admin API road endpoint uh, and I'm also uh, configuring uh, upstream inside the road configuration as you can see then we define the, our new route and upstream so that incoming request to the uh, gateway uh, endpoint uh, uh, API products will be forwarded to our example product uh, backend service after the successful authentication process. I can just copy this uh, command once again and pass to the terminal. Uh, so and then press enter admin api says okay and now is this pro step is done you can test this scenario by sending the request to this our sample api products endpoint with our uh, first consumer credentials uh, with api key in the uh, api header uh, let's try to test this uh, scenario uh, if I uh, call, try to call the first time this API and the API responds uh, OK, uh, because uh, uh, the, the first uh, two requests, uh, Apache API 6 uh, receives as usual, but the third request in the same period returns as uh, uh, another error. That means uh, request we are doing too many because we have a very limited three uh, shoulder like uh, two requests per 60 seconds and the subsequent request as you can see not allowed by API 6. Next we can have a look at the uh, enable a rate limiting for multiple consumer groups. In Apache API 6 consumer groups are used to manage the visibility of backend services to uh, developers let's say API consumers uh, backend services are first made visible to groups and then uh, developers in these groups can view and subscribe to the products or the backend service that are associated with the groups with the consumer groups you can specify any number of rate limiting tires and apply them a group of consumers instead of uh, managing each consumer individually Typical scenarios can be different pricing models for your API monetization, like API consumers with the basic plan are allowed to make only 50 API calls per minute, or in another use case, you can enable specific APIs for admins, developers, or guests based on, the, on their roles uh, in the system. You can create, update, delete, manage your groups using Apache API 6, admin REST API, consumer group entity. For the sake of the demo, let's create two consumer groups uh, for the basic and the premium plans respectively. We can add uh, two or more consumers for each group and control the traffic from the consumers with the help of a rate limiting plugin. To do so, we can just uh, jump back to the terminal uh, and uh, pass our first command to create our first uh, basic plan group. It's very straightforward. Uh, you can just uh, run this command. Uh, it will uh, create for your consumer group uh, with a, uh, a limit count plugin. In the reality, also you can use uh, multiple plugins, uh, any other plugins uh, that Apache API 6 offers. Now, if I press and hit the button. Uh, to run this command, Apache P6 confirms it's uh, our first consumer group is created. Second, let's create a second consumer group, uh, the premium plan. Uh, so similarly, I can just uh, copy this command and uh, place it to the terminal. Uh, and in this case, I'm creating the premium plan. Now we are successful. Then I'm going to add two uh, consumer, uh, one consumer for the base group and two consumers for the premium group to understand the differences like uh, different uh, rate limiting policies for different uh, two groups. 
Uh, now I added uh, the first consumer with a key uh, uh, plugin enabled to the basic group. And let's add the second and third now uh, the consumers. Similarly, we can just uh, uh, copy this command and place to the terminal. If I run this command, uh, uh, the second consumer now, as you can see, added to the premium plan. So let's uh, create uh, our last consumer uh, in the similar way. If I uh, bring this command here, uh, Apache P6 confirms, so the sort consumer also added to the premium plan. Now it's time to validate how this works. Uh, in order to test this, uh, we need to uh, try to hit uh, this uh, API uh, slash products endpoint with the different uh, keys uh, uh, from the different API consumer, as you can see. Now, he, uh, as you uh, notice, like we have uh, only two requests allowed for the consumer number one in the basic plan because it's basic plan a little bit limited. So uh, if we try to run uh, more than two times within the, the 60 seconds, we will get definitely uh, error as we have tested also in previously when we had the case for single consumer. What about the second and third consumers uh, that belong to the another group? In that case, uh, API 6 uh, should uh, continue to work as needed because we don't have this restriction. Uh, and also uh, these uh, two consumers uh, will uh, share the same the rate limiting. As you can see, if I'm hitting the, the API endpoint with uh, the consumer number two or number three, is they are using the same limiting policy. You can also play with other the management uh, things with admin API, like you can delete the group or you can maybe uh, remove uh, the specific consumer from the, uh, the basic plan or add the new consumers to the basic plan and so on. As you watch the throughout the video, today we learned how to, you can manage your single API consumer or the multiple API consumers with the help of API management solution. Uh, if you would like to know more about our videos and tutorials, please subscribe to our channels and show your love. Thank you for watching.